Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we... Well, finished the Sun Keep quest. Uh, for Luca, got her Wonder Shot, which is her quote-unquote ultimate weapon. And now we are going to help Frog, a.k.a. Glenn, with his, uh, with his things. Now, we know that there is a carpenter here. You want to borrow my tools? Be my guest. I'm busy here, so get them for my wife. Hmm. Not a very responsible guy. My husband's never... Okay. What? His tools? Oh, hold on. They're right here. Careful with them. Okay, so with that done, there's going to be a lot of back and forth through the time periods here. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to do to go back and forth. So, right. You've got some tools there. Will you lend them to me, but to me, the, 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 lend them to me and be a buddy. Thanks, thanks a lot. Now I can get back to work. Thanks for lending me those tools. Now I can finally get to work. I guess I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever, uh, whatever you say, boss. Walking right through frog, I tell you. Now, I'm going to give you some unusual advice up in the ruins, um, soon-ish. We're done for now. We can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the, we'll do the rest. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. Now, at this point, you don't actually need Frog in your party, but I would still recommend, at a minimum, having Luca in your party. Um, and we'll see why I'm switching to Ayla, Ayla, Ayla here in a second. I think these are the enemies that I want. Now these guys are um, hyper ethers. Yep, are incredibly. Re um, actually, they're immune to um, physical attacks. I think. Um, I think the non-elemental attacks... I think there are non-elemental attacks from, um... I love that could work. Oh my goodness, I'm actually gonna have to... Um... Let's see how problematic this is. Grudge does damage. Well, good. Okay. What text did we just learn? We got Flame Kit, Kick, Fire Whirl. Which is kind of interesting, because it is a repeat of that. Um, except it's much more expensive. And Blaze Kick. I don't believe we learned... Yep, we did not. Okay. Which means that Luca needs to learn more single techs. Mega Bomb is next. Eh, probably not going to get that here. The fact that I can do that is kind of funny. Uh, actually, she can...
in here, um, you have basically two choices. There are three enemies that you there are three enemy groups that you need to kill here. Um, if you want a bunch of hyper aethers, you can actually completely leave and they will respawn. If you kill them all, they will not respawn. I'm doing this on purpose just to show it. Just one time. Um, wow, these guys do a ton of damage. I think that attack does exactly half. Not what I meant to do. I actually... Oh, well, whatever. And you can steal as many hyper ethers as you want going this way. So if you want a bunch of hyper ethers, this is your way. Oh. Good. Oh, literally the worst possible combinations. Oh, we just... Because Chrono is dead at the end of the battle. Right. Gatling Kick, which is pretty good. Oh, boy. Um, I can buy mid ether, so whatever. I don't care about tonics. How many did I have? I had 11, right? Okay. So yeah, as you can very quickly see... I don't know how the second group did not pop out there, but they didn't. May as well take care- take advantage of charm while I can. The third group is problematic for several different reasons. Ah, uh, okay. I was trying to keep them both alive, but apparently one fire... There we go. This is the third group. But apparently one fire whirl is all it takes. That's fine. That means I'll be short one from a from a full run through here. Actually, let's show off Isla's fire whirl. One thing I don't like about this party is that there's no real good way of healing. Burn an enemy, burn... Oh, that's only a single enemy. Oh, no it's not. That's a screen nuke. Oh, holy cow. Okay. Oh my goodness, we are enjoying this MP Buster today. Grudge, I don't care all that much about because, it, I mean, yeah, it does 200 damage, but... MP Buster is... Ugh. Anyway, those are the only three enemies down there.
And we are going immediately to the end. Because, oh my goodness. This area can be a bit of a drain on resources. Um, okay, at this point, I think I'll go back to... this. You want the Northern Ruins repaired? It'll cost you 2,000 G. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. Who are you going to walk through this time? Nobody. You walk behind Chrono and Frog, though. So, yeah, we're heading up here. We're done for now. We can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the rest. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. So, if we head down here, you'll notice that there's no monsters. Uh, do not get the treasure chest. Like I said, I had some weird advice to give. And that weird advice is do not get the treasure chest. Okay. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, rest here. Cyrus, I hath returned. I shall honor my promise to thee. Cyrus. Glenn, thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus, thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought of all those whom I had left behind. King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course, you. Cyrus, your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now, knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, I... I... The Queen. Look after Queen Lean. Alas, and farewell. When... Cyrus! I'm so sorry, sorry Cyrus. Huh? The Masamune? <laughs> That's it! That was special. Quite. I guess it means that, hero's that a hero's power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. Like mind over matter, Mune. My mind? Now for a yummy full-on test. It's, a it's thrashing time. is flowing with strength and vigor. Ah, tis the true identity of Masamune. Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. Tis a sad farewell. Onward, all. That unlocks the full power of the Masamune. If you go to any other sword, you are really missing out. But, I'm going to switch over to the Brave Sword, which has 2x against magical foes. The Masamune also has that. But, with the Hero Metal, which means against magical foes, it can do up to four times the damage. 
won't get to display that very much in the me in the immediate future. Oh, I almost went for that chest. I need to remember not to. This is literally one of the only areas. This is probably actually no. This is the only area where this is true. Um, wait, there is supposed to be. I'm in the wrong time. I think. And some new enemies. Defunct and Reapers. I don't... I can't think of anything really worth stealing off of these guys. But they are all weak to fire too. Well, to fire in general. Which is why Luke is here. And anyone that survives... We'll get hit with water too. Um, these enemies can be pretty dangerous. Like I said, I can't remember if there's anything worth stealing. Oh wow, nope, water is not a good option against them. Like I said, I can't remember if there's anything really worth stealing off of them. It'll be in their description anyway, so. Yeah, that did twice as much as water, but eh, I mean, I guess I would have done as much of water with just a standard hit. You get a lupus off of, the, off of them. I think you can steal a lupus as well, I want to say. Now, as you can tell, the Reapers like to move around. So, let's see how... I can't get all three of them. Sure, let's show off Delta Storm. It's going to be a while before I can do that again anyway. Okay, maybe a seizure warning needs to go along with this. Oh, right. What do they absorb? Do they have... They, they don't absorb lightning, do they? They do. Lumiere doesn't count as ultimate damage versus um, lightning damage. I think, yes, I think. I think Delta Storm uses lightning too. Because this should hurt them, if I remember correctly from my testing. Yes, that does hurt them. Kind of the interesting thing is when the defunct is like that. It actually takes less uh, physical damage. Oh, I was still able to kill it, though. Now, I believe this area is also similar to the first area, where if you don't kill all the enemies, um, they'll all respawn. Okay, that proved that I don't want to use Delta Storm. But, you know what, I... Lumiere is fun. Burn enemy with flame slash. That is only one enemy. That should take care of them all because massive fire damage. Yeah, we can't go any further. So. We have to go back anyway. May as well heal. How well is Luca doing? Protects. Getting fairly close. Not going to get it by the end of this area. Um, we want to go down here. We want the northern room prepared. It'll cost you 2,000 G. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. So yeah, every time you 
clear out an area of enemies, it will cost you 2,000 more G. Um, which, yeah, at this point of the game, like, who cares? We're done for now. That's it for now. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss. I have no idea why the dialogue is the same once he's completely finished repairing. But it is. And there are some new enemies in here to clear out. Um... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. No! So yeah, there's some more... Um, sealed chests. This is the last area with sealed chests. So yeah, I don't. I'm pretty sure that these enemies do not count as magical enemies, unfortunately, which means that Frog is not dealing his double damage here. And we have one more room to explore, but for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.